this is was uh, our uh, last simulation model okay uh, uh, we uh, converted our pv array uh, to a maximum power point using mppt okay and this was our um, irradiance value and we also varied our variable register okay um, running the same model okay so you can easily understand what uh, will we do today okay okay now double clicking on this uh, you can uh, see that uh, our uh, maximum power is varying from 4000 uh, 4, uh, 4, to uh, 3400 and uh, finally uh, 2000 okay because of the uh, varying uh, irradiances uh, today uh, what i will do that uh, we will convert our uh, dc uh, output to ac okay so that we can run our uh, ac so ac load okay and in this video i will mainly focus on a constant irradiances and in the next video i will uh, show you how you can get constant ac output uh, from varying irradiances okay in this video i will only consider constant irradiances okay uh, i am deleting uh, my brands and i am taking a constant block okay and i am setting as 1000 and we already know that uh, at this uh, point our maximum point is about 4200 okay and when i run this model the maximum uh, power should same and and our load is varying okay and you can see here our duty value also changing here i have added a display block here and as you can see under varying load and constant irradiances our maximum our power output is almost constant okay uh, so uh, we have to convert our dc output to ac okay this is our dc source dc output was and you want to convert it to ac for that i am deleting this branches Uh, so we will need there so basically deleting this and for converting dc to ac okay and i will take a full bis converter block here okay and you will find it under simscape electrical uh, specialized power system and power electronics this is our full bis converter okay drag it to our model okay and we have to rotate it format flip block left and right okay and uh, we will need a rl branch before connecting the output to and rl value like uh, it's okay uh, 560 e6 and connecting this here okay and we have to change the capacitance parameter here okay uh, 470 e uh, minus 6 okay uh, click okay and uh, now it's okay and we will need another uh, rl branch here and it's a uh, value uh, 500 e minus 4 okay and uh, click okay and i'm connecting it here and we will need a capacitance or capacitor whatever you say uh, and its value 500 e minus 6 it's okay and i'm rotating this uh, capacitor block here and connect it here okay okay and uh, finally we will uh, we need our load okay and i'm taking a resistive branch uh, resistance uh, like uh, 100 okay This is our uh, voltage measurement block, uh, which we need AC, okay? AC output, sinusoidal output, okay? And this is our uh, scope, okay? So uh, it's okay now. We have to uh, give uh, our get pulses for full bis converter, okay? For that, I'm browsing my library and under power electronics and power control, and I'm taking. Uh, PWM generator to level okay it's okay 
and I want it as internal generation reflection. Okay, and I'm taking frequency uh, like uh, uh, three thousand. Okay, and I'm keeping this as default. Click OK. It will internally uh, generate our uh, get signals. Okay, so uh, that's it. Our model is okay, and it's okay. And now run this model. Sorry, here we have to convert this to single phase full beast four pulses. Okay, click OK. Now run this model. Our model is run and if we check our output voltage, you can see here uh, this is a sinusoidal, sorry, uh, this is about sinusoidal, okay, uh, but you can see here, sorry, uh, if I run this model again, you can see our maximum power uh, point is not uh, 4200, okay, uh, but, our, I, I, but our output is okay. You can see our output is okay. This is sinusoidal, okay. And uh, because uh, we have to tune our LC parameter well, uh, this is the first condition. And I have mistakenly uh, set the inductance value minus six, okay. It will be uh, five. And click okay. Now, when I run this model and check the maximum power point, okay. And you can see our maximum power point is. Uh, we are getting and our output voltage uh, it's it's sinusoidal okay if i take this this box now you can see uh, we are getting sinusoidal output uh, from our pv here uh, pv okay and Okay, uh, now let's uh, change the value of the irradiance value uh, like uh, 800. Okay, and we already know uh, that at 800, our maximum power uh, should uh, 3400. Okay, now I'm running this model. You can see our model is run at maximum power point. Okay, and I'm checking my output voltage. Now you can see this is also sinusoidal, okay. Uh, so, this is the way we can uh, get uh, DC uh, PV output to AC, okay. Uh, but we have considered it here as uh, a constant irradiance value, okay. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how you can use feedback uh, to get uh, constant AC output uh, instead of uh, very irradiance value, okay. So, uh, see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.